Thank you for joining me. I'm Brian Shields. I want to get right to this. This is the first tropical wave of the season. Again, the hurricane season starts June 1st, but ahead of that, you get some tropical waves. And this just came off yesterday and is just off the coast of Africa at this point. This is the very first one, the first tropical wave to come off. It is the first of many. It is not going to develop. This one will not develop. Conditions aren't out there are not favorable for development. You see the, uh, uh, the broader Atlantic and you see again, Again, the ITCZ, lots of action down there, but again, no development this time of year out there. Conditions are not favorable for that. We look closer to home. One spot I'm watching over toward the Bahamas, a little bit of a mid upper level spin here. I'm going to monitor that to see if it does eventually try to develop and another front that may try to spin something up near the Bahamas. So looking closer to home this time of year, but again, that first wave did come off. Here's a closer look. Here's the coast of Africa, not seeing any signs of development with it as we get deeper into the season and once the season officially starts and especially July, August, September, even October, we'll be watching out for more of those uh, kind of long track tropical systems or hurricanes out there. Hopefully not too many, but I'll be monitoring that. And to put your mind at ease, I always like to pass along good news on this channel. By the way, thank you for sh sharing this channel as we get closer to the hurricane season. You see again, just putting this out in time, this is Wednesday. I'll move forward into the weekend. You see again, no development from the wave. Clusters of thunderstorms, yes. But as we get down the road, we're going to see more more and more tropical waves come off and I'll keep an eye on all of these. That's my promise to you. That's why I do this channel for safety. But you see again, more action coming off. We could get the next tropical wave coming off pretty soon. Clusters of rain and storms come out of Africa this time of year and then they emerge off into the Atlantic and as conditions get more favorable, they will develop some. Let's just hope all this action stays out to sea. Again, this is late week. By the time we get into Friday, another tropical wave will be moving off. Now, tropical waves per season. Usually we get about six 60, 60 of these come off. Most don't develop, some do, and typically they develop, as I mentioned, later in the summer. Warmer water temperatures, overall conditions become a little more favorable out there. Favorable in the bad sense of the term. We don't want anything to uh, develop, but usually there's more development out of those once we get deeper into July. But it is a sign that the hurricane season is coming, that the hurricane season is right around the corner. In average season, there are 14 named storms. That's tropical storms or hurricanes. Seven of those become hurricanes on average, and again, three major hurricanes uh, on average, and that's those are category three or higher. So category three, four, or five. I do expect it to be very close to an average season or a little bit above as far as name systems go, but either way, it just doesn't matter. The seasonal forecast, I keep talking about that. They just, they matter scientifically, they do. But again, it just depends on if one storm hits you or hopefully none of them do. Uh, again, what is a quiet season is really relative to what will happen uh, down the road and what happens to you. I will take it storm by storm and track every hurricane for you, even watching over on the Pacific side. So this is what's going on right now. Gulf of Mexico, watching my friends in Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, back into Florida. We've had a lot of fronts kind of nearby, a lot of that action in the southeast. These fronts that will move off may eventually spin something up. A little bit of a broad spin here. This is that trough or that general area of low pressure that has been bringing some scattered storms to parts of Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Cuba, Bahamas, Turks and Caicos. We had reports of uh, water spouts in the area yesterday. Haiti, Dominican Republic, even Puerto Rico, We've seen some showers and storms, so kind of a hot spot I'll be watching. Not so much out there where that first wave is, but a little bit closer to home. Anytime you get a buildup of moisture, I'm watching that. So let me take it through that right now. You can pick a spot on the map where you are, maybe Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, uh, St. Lucia, Barbados, my friends in Dominica, passing shower chance today. Just more so Haiti, Dominican Republic, Cuba, up through the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos, Guyana and Suriname, we've had some scattered showers around. Now, some spots of Trinidad, for example, we've had some rain, other spots too dry. As we press forward into tomorrow, not a ton of action around, scattered variety. Even back through the ABC Islands, you may get a shower, Haiti, Dominican Republic. But again, watch this. You see Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Panhandle, Florida, up through Georgia and the Carolinas. This is an old front. 
and this will eventually move off and it could leave some extra moisture around eventually near the Bahamas just kind of leaving some moisture here so late week I'll be watching to see if anything does try to uh, develop I don't expect any development anytime soon but this is a spot this area down through the Bahamas where there are some signs the models are hinting at some development as we get down the road let me take you out in time this is by Friday Belize were very dry passing shower Cayman Islands still the scattered stuff my friends in St. Croix so as we get over toward the U.S. Virgin Islands British Virgin Islands passing shower St. Martin Guadalupe uh, uh, Martinique again hit or miss shower passing shower Trinidad and Tobago St. Vincent the Grenadines and Grenada on Friday Guyana and Suriname a little bit more but kind of watching this junk out here to see if anything wants to kind of stay together and eventually develop some so I've got my eye on the ball watching everything taking it through that rain outlook this would be pop-up stuff in Honduras we're looking at a 30 percent chance of a shower storm today and tomorrow Jamaica this is the scattered stuff that we've had some spots yes way too dry others have gotten dumped on. You've been hearing about that. Just depends on uh, location. As we get toward the Dominican Republic, 40% chance of those scattered storms today. Even uh, late in the day with that daytime heating in that trough nearby, that'll help to trigger some scattered showers. St. Lucia, 20 to 30% chance. Some days were totally dry. Other days, we get some of the showers around. And a lot of us have had the extra clouds around because of that trough that's been nearby. Grenada, same thing, 20 to 30% chance of a passing shower. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, same thing. Trinidad and Tobago, a little bit higher, 30 to 40% chance as we get toward uh, Trinidad and Tobago. The more north you go, passing variety, uh, Dominica, you get back toward Barbados, uh, you swing back toward St. Kitts and Nevis, just about a 20 to 30% chance over toward Montserrat. So the names on the list this year, again, Arlene, that is the first name. Now, as I mentioned a couple videos ago, in January, they went back and classified a subtropical system out there. So there's already been our first system of the year, but they didn't go ahead and give it the name Arlene. Arlene. So Arlene will take the uh, next name, which will actually be the second storm of the season, whenever that develops. Brett, Cindy, Don, uh, Emily, Franklin, and Gert after that. And again, long list. I hope we don't get too far down the list. But regardless, it just depends on what gets to near land. And that's what I'll be tracking for you. Hopefully nothing crazy. Hopefully we do get some much needed moisture out of some uh, tropical waves. We just don't want anything uh, crazy. So again, the first of many tropical waves just came off the coast of Africa. I'll keep an eye on that. I'll be watching near the Bahamas for any type of a spin up as we get through the end of the week and even into next week. That appears to be the first area to watch. I was talking about that in a video a couple weeks ago, tracking some of the scattered storms today. Still some of those areas of dust around, and I'm watching the Nevado uh, del Ruiz that uh, in Colombia, the uh, volcano there. Again, it has been getting more active, giving you the early heads up uh, on a video that I'm going to post. So search uh, Earth QC on YouTube, and you can subscribe to that. And in a couple hours, I'll get out a fresh video on that because, again, it's getting even more active over the last two days on that and an eruption still possible if not likely out of that. So I'll have new information again on Earth QC if you're interested in that again and what's going on in Colombia could be a big eruption if it does go and I'll explain why of course on that. So watching everything in the tropics thank you for going ahead and sharing this channel and subscribing to it. I do appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of your day.